Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> today, about time I put these up. I got this from Fine Bricks Nurseries a couple of months ago. This is called Mrs. McLaughlin. I've grown this one before. It's a brilliant, brilliant flower. Absolutely out of this world. Big, massive, orange and red. Looks like it's on fire. <coughs> it's out of this world. As you can see, it's just trying to get some... Uh, if you can see that, it's trying to get some flower buds on there. Check it out here, two seconds. If you can see there, just trying to get some flower buds on it. Nice. And further down. What I need to do is create a single stem. Well, there's two stems. I'll put a cane in to support it, because I don't want it... As you can see there, that's the weak point. Right? They're blowing about and then breaking off. So I'll get to the nice stage. So yeah, here we go. First of all, always keep the name tight. Always film it so in case I lose it. Then all you need to do is basically dig out. You don't want it any deeper. You want this the same level as a compost. The uh, the granny tuber. Give it a little tap and it should come out nicely. And like I said, you want it the same level, you don't want it any deeper. You don't want it to rot. It's nice, like that. Yeah, that's lovely that. And then I should put round it. <laughs> I'll put round it. Now I'll plant these, I'll lift them round the golf ball, these are called. This one's, that was a little bit better. But yeah, each corner. Just to give it a little bit of ground cover so you don't overheat the pot. And also get a nice few flowers in there. Nice in the corner, that should stop cascading over the side. Look really well. Yeah, I'm using a peat-based compost for this. I am going to start using peat-free, so I know it's not good for the environment. But as soon as I've run out of this stuff, this compost I've got at the moment, I've only got a couple of bags left, 125, 120 litre bags. I shall be buying so I think it's Koya based. I think that's the husk of the uh... oh, I forget now. Anyway, it's, it's shredded and it's really fine, like a brownish material. People say it's really good for growing in, so we'll see. One more to go. Coconut husk, that's it. I'm searching for that. That's nicely done. And what I'll do now is I'll put a couple of canes in. Yeah, just a couple of things in here just to get a little bit of extra support. I don't want to go through the tuber. Just at the side. Just at this side. And then I should put some wire around it. Just so if the wind gets up, it's not going to cause any damage. Yeah, you don't have to be too precise with this. You just want it just so it gives that little bit of support. Stops it blowing backwards and forwards all the way around, like so. That's it, that's better. Let's get that leaf out of the way. Just over it, like so. That's it, that's nice. There we go. Just double cross it like that. Spin it round. There we have it. So, yeah, that's how to. Plant up Mrs. McLaughlin, I think it's called. I always don't know how to pronounce that. Take that hair out. There we go. Nicely planted up. And these golf ball alisons in each corner. Beautiful flowers off that. That'll give it just a little bit of support, as you can see there. So it's going back and forth. I'll give that a feed. Everybody asks me what do I feed them on? I'll feed them on this. Remington's Tomorite. Concentrated tomato plant food. It's really good. You can really enjoy it and it really fetches out the flowers in it. If you've got any questions on how to plant these, that's a tip to ask folks. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Remember, happy sewing, happy growing. Thank you for watching. Please keep safe. Bye.